didn't even let Ronnie touch Mari. Like, y'all, I was really hard up. Like, I was really hard up. What is good, Lilos? It's your girl, Leah, and I'm back with another video. As you can tell from the title, this video will be about how I met my boyfriend. So basically, a story time. If you don't already know me and you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you are new, then you don't know that my current boyfriend is not my daughter's dad. Um, if you would like to get more details on it, I did do a video on my daughter's dad. I will put that video in the link below. But today is basically a video on how I met my current boyfriend. So, we're going to get straight into this video. Okay, so my current boyfriend and I met in high school. I was a freshman and he was a senior. We both was running track, so that's kind of like how we first seen eye to eye um i was in high school like honestly y'all when i was in school i did i did it did have a, a, a like a good bit of boys that like i liked but um i was never ever till this day i'm not i was never the type of person to approach no guy like i just i feel like if a guy really wants to talk to me then he would suck it up and he would approach me. So I could really, really like you, but I'm not going to come approach you. Because I might I might be pretty to myself, but that doesn't mean I'm pretty to everybody else. So, like, I'm, I'm not putting myself in that situation. I'm not putting myself in a position where you have the right to say no. Because I was going to be shamed. Like, so no. But anyway... I was driving, but I don't think I had a car at the time. So it's like we stayed like a good distance from each other. I think I was staying in Thibodeau. He was staying in La Rose. So it's like we didn't we didn't really see each other. So that kind of like threw up threw off like us even like getting on that level at that point. Um, but I think we we went on a couple of dates like to the movies, but. He had to come get me, and it's like, yeah, that was, it wasn't like a relationship. It was like, well, we wasn't going together. It was like more like a friend thing. It seemed like a friend thing anyway. But anyway, so I was not into liking boys. I don't want to say I was not into boys because I don't, I'm only into boys. That's it. Um, when I first met Roni, Roni had one child. And that kind of like, in in my defense, like, it kind of threw, it, I wouldn't say it threw a red flag, but it kind of like made me think that he was just too fast with me. Like, I'm like, golly, he got a child or whatever. And I think when it was only 18, and I can't remember how old I was, but at the time I was like, you know, mm, you know maybe it ain't gonna work out, blah, blah, blah. Plus, I was hearing things about he fast and all that, and I just... I really didn't want to deal with that at the time. And he would always say, you know, you know, you hear this and that about me, but he just wanted to prove basically what type of person he was. But honestly, over time, it just, I think it just grew old and we just, we just fell off. Like, so, you know, we went our separate ways or whatever. So then we went our separate ways. I don't think we... Maybe we might have hollered at each other in between life, but it wasn't really nothing major to where, where we was, like, chilling together or whatever like that. So, we fell off, and I don't, I did get another boyfriend. Um, that, I think that was really my only boyfriend in high school. I was in another relationship, blah, blah, blah. So, that happened. So, I then I was introduced to my daughter's dad, DJ. Um, I was introduced to him by my cousin. My cousin stayed near his cousin and like, I guess they just was talking one day and was like, you know, I really think y'all two would be cute together. So yeah, we, we started talking and 
you know, we was in a very serious relationship. That was my most serious relationship. And I ended up getting pregnant with my daughter, Damari. And she is the best thing that ever happened to me, like, really and truly, y'all. Like, I really don't know where I would be without my daughter because she really is the reason why I was able to be so strong for myself and for her. So, anyway, I had my daughter and... I was on my turn to leave and as you know, cause I already said it in the video, her dad died in a car accident. After her dad died, I kind of went into like a, a depression stage where it's like, I really didn't want to talk about it. I really didn't want to talk at all. Like, um, I just was really trying to find myself. I didn't want to make any mistakes from the day I found out till now, like, I really felt like a weight was on my shoulder. Like, I had to do better for my daughter. I had to pull myself together. I had to get myself together. Well, in the process of me, like, getting myself together, Roni came back alone. I want to say he inboxed me or wrote me on some social media and basically was, like, reaching out to me. Like, he, he said, you know... I don't know how you feel, but I definitely would like to be there for you and your daughter. Guys always say, you know, I'm this, I'm that, but it's never let me show you. And like, he was the type of person, like, he was like, let me, let me, let me just show you like that. You know, I could be there. I could really be there for y'all. So like, you know, I was brushing it off. I'm like, oh, you, you know, you got too many kids. You got too much going on with yourself. I'm dealing with a lot. You dealing with a lot. And it's just, and it's nothing against him having too much kids. It's just that I knew when it came down to being with somebody with a lot of kids, it was a possibility that I was going to go through drama. And I was already dealing with losing my child's dad. Um, you know, losing somebody that I was in love with that I thought I was going to marry. Losing somebody that, you know, was really my best friend. So it's like... It was kind of hard to place myself in a position to where that do I seriously want to deal with more stress and drama? But, you know, I prayed about it, and God really led me to the point where he was like, you know, you could be, I could send you somebody else, you know, that treats you good, but, you know, on the outside, you know, he cheating. He cheating on you. He, he might be beating you up, too, so it's like, you know, I'm sending you a guy with five kids. Yes, he does have five kids now. Uh, I'm sending you a guy with five kids, but he's going to take care of you and your daughter. And he's going to really be there for you. And he's going to push you to, to, to be stronger. So I really prayed on it. And I feel like that was God's message to me. So I finally opened up and I let him come into my me and my daughter's life and really be there. I remember when... Because Myron was not that old, and it was like, I really feel like it didn't take me much time to get comfortable with him because it was a guy that I was already knowing. Not saying that, you know, when it's kind of going to throw me off subject. But I just want to say this, like, for people that's in a situation like me and they're afraid to move on, like, I honestly can say that it has no time limit on when to move on. Like, you really have to just follow your heart because you don't want to miss out on something that can be, like, amazing just because you feel like people's going to have so much to say because it's just not the time right now. And I remember my daughter being, like, maybe, I want to say, like, four or five months old. And Rona used to just come just be in my presence. Like, I didn't want to, I, I, I didn't feel comfortable talking to him. I didn't feel comfortable, like laying on him i didn't feel comfortable him touching my i didn't even let ronnie touch my like y'all i was really hard up like i was really hard up and it's crazy because like that's kind of all she know like she know exactly who her dad is but like as far as like a father figure like that's all she really know like that's all she really been around so um she's she's really grown used to ronnie and it's like it's crazy because she really loved Roni, like, she loved him. So, but in the beginning, like, I didn't want him to touch Myri. I just was so hard up, y'all. It's just crazy. That I look back at it, it's like, girl, that was ridiculous. But, um, some, 
some days he would just come just to chill with me, check on me. He probably would like, sometimes we would just lay down and just not even say nothing. Cause that just was weird, 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 weird. But like, it's just, it was just the little things that he did that really like made me think like, you know, maybe he really is a good dude. So, you know, I finally started opening up to Roni and like, I just honestly could say like, you know, people say, you know, let them show you and you show them and then they show you exactly why you was afraid to open up from junk. But I really feel like with him, he really is a great person. And that's why I say, like, I get a lot of questions on how, you know, how you deal with being with somebody with a lot of kids. But it's really not about the kids, like, honestly. I am treated like a queen, like y'all, I am spoiled. Um, I just really love my boyfriend. He really is a great person and everything he said that he was gonna do, everything he said he was gonna prove, he did just that. And that is why I'm with him today. My daughter loves him, I love him. He's a great person and it's like, that's the person I feel like, that's the person I'm gonna stick with. Um, I really feel like DJ would be proud of me also. And I used to always pray for signs. I'm like, you know, D, if he ain't right, show me. Show me. But, you know, I haven't got any bad signs or anything. Sometimes I really wish that he could just come and say, like, Lee, you know, you're doing a, an amazing job. Like, But, you know, everything takes time. And I'm just willing to see where this journey going to take me. I really only have one daughter and he has five kids, but I really feel like in the future, you know, I want to get married and I do want another child. Like, I would take a boy or a girl. Honestly, I really want another girl. Like, I really want another girl because I feel like girls are way easier. I just really feel like a lot of my friends with boys, like, they bad. I know my child bad, but... I just feel like I can't handle a boy. I really can't. But, you know, whatever God blesses me with, I will be happy with anyways. But, yeah. That is my story on how I met my boyfriend, y'all. And I really want to give a shout-out to Morgan for this pullover. It says, The Life of Aaliyah. Subscribe to my channel. And it has drip. Um, lime green is really my favorite color. She, it was her idea to try the lime green because I wanted the gray pullover. It was her idea to try these colors together. And y'all, I'm just so happy with how it turned out. My frontal is still sticking. Yes, my frontal is still cute. Always keep a positive mind about, you know, finding happiness because it's gonna happen. Like, when it's for you, it will be for you. It's going to happen. This concludes the video, y'all. I just want everybody to get a peace of mind from this video. Like, you know, you can, even after you suffer a tragic loss, whether it's what I've been through, whether it's like just a regular breakup, it's like things do get better. You just have to trust in God and it, he will make a way for you. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, y'all. And I will see y'all in my next video.